What's happening, everybody? Took a few weeks off. I was out on tour. Uh, came back, actually, about a month since we filmed the last one. Was out on tour with Hatebreed, Terra, Crow Mags. Came back, did a book event for the PMA Effect down in Miami. Came back, and I had my uh, triple hernia fixed. That's what I'm dealing with now. I'm fucking shit is all sewn the fuck up, but I'll be better. I'm over here at Peter Nussbaum's place. What's up? We're making a dope ass meal in here. We're gonna do. Uh, an Alfredo pasta with spring vegetables, as you can see. He's breaking up the stem in the spinach. We're gonna do uh, a, a, a vegan chicken scallopini. We got salad. And I'm making two fresh dressings for you. That's gonna be fucking dope. You're gonna see how I do it. But Peter, the reason I love this motherfucker right here, you know, he runs Tamerlane. Animal Sanctuary in, uh, in upstate New York that is a sanctuary that saves animals. Spent a lot of his own money doing it. Let's do it, let's do it the right way. How can they find out about what's going on? Maybe kick down a little donation to Yeah, well, our website, if you go to tamerlane.org, tamerlanefarm.org, excuse me, or go to our social media, Tamerlane Farm, it's T-A-M-E-R-L-A-I-N-E. We'll put the website up for you guys. Cool. So yeah, just go to our social media, go to our website, and you'll find out everything about the farm. And come up and visit us. We're close to New York, and uh, we'd love to have you. You're always welcome to come and see for yourself what's going on up there. And you know what? The truth always comes out, and the fucking righteous always prevail. And I can speak very highly of this individual and his wife, Gabby. So do the right thing. We're going to get back to cooking. We got a special guest coming over here tonight. I didn't tell you guys who it is yet, but he'll be here any minute. I just made the salad dressing. This is a uh, really creamy almond dressing. So we're, that's done now. But uh, yeah, we didn't, uh, so what about the Mama Lukes that are like, hmm. the animals are gonna take, uh, you know, and all this whole shit about if we don't kill them, what are we gonna do with them? What's, the, what's your, well, give me a one, li give me a one line motherfucking answer to that. One paragraph. <laughs> about four words, we'll hmm. stop breeding them. Stop breeding them. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, the reason why there are so many is because they're being used like a uh, commodity. And if we did abuse the shit out of them all of these years, how about we turn those farms over to let them live out their fucking lives and go to a plant-based diet, and then guess what? The money could be made off people consuming plants. And Absolutely. we don't have to kill these animals, man. How are you? Y'all know who this is? Special guest tonight, Sergio Quicksand, Deftone. Yes. Who before Quicksand? Absolution. Absolution with Gingy, who I just saw in Miami. Yes. And he said to yes. give you a hug. hug. I'll, I'll take it. Give it it's all a bad me. motherfucking bass player. I'll be gone. It's almost, I mean, that was a big deal for him. I mean, he, he kind of like, we, he went full circle. We were uptown in the Bronx. I kind of dragged him down into hardcore. I was like punk first, punk yeah. and then hardcore. And then he started doing Absolution. You know, I was doing like this band Collapse. And and then um, we became, you know, vegan. I was Man. like vegetarian at first, then became vegan. I was like 18. Hanging out with dubs. Yeah. Could, I mean, he was raw, his, yeah. With his nutritional yeast and, orange juice and orange every morning. In, in, a, in a, yeah, totally. Every morning. He would shake it up, drink it. I was drinking it too. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 it's great. But he but, took a sip. But, but yeah. uh, so you did uh, one of my favorite albums. And, and you know, I, when I trained Iron Man, uh, the two bands that I got on my playlist when I got to really kick ass and get into the 165 Zone 3 heart rate, yeah. <laughs> quicksand slip, uh, death tones around the fur and uh, the right whole. On. So you're in both of them. You play bass in both of them bands now. I do. Yeah. I do. I came into I came into death tones uh, for Diamond Eyes. You know, like I was a part God of that. Bless him. He passed yeah, away. You know, bass yeah, that's right. You know. Cheat, you know, rest yeah, in power. Yeah, yeah. And um, but they're cool cats too. Big yeah. Bad Brains influence. Yeah, that's kind of how I that's yeah. kind of how I got put onto them on the first Warp tour. Quick Sandwich on the first Warp tour, and these guys came up to me and said, "Go check out this band. You ever heard of this band, Deftones?" I'm like, "Well, they hardcore." They're like, "Well, they love the Bad Brains." And I was like, "Cool." So I went and checked them out, and then Amazing, after that, right? yeah, after that, I went over and met them. I went over to their Winnebago. Humble dudes. Chino. They were they were super shy at that point. That's yeah. when I I had long hair. What's the singer is uh is uh. 
Chino, right? Yeah, Chino. Yeah, yeah, Chino, yeah. fucking mad cool. Yeah, yeah, they're super sweet super dudes. Cool. I went. I just remember going over to the Winnebago. I had like big pack of weed, and I had like some wine. And I was like, hey, dude, what's up? And they were just like super. They were super L.A. West Coast. But they were, super, super but they were just like, yeah, they were NorCal. You know, like they were like you know Sacramento dudes, and they were super sweet. And and at that point, Chai, when I came, we came across each other later. They were way. Yeah. Far. You know, nice. they're, they're, yeah, they're really cool. they're good people. So, yeah, we're going to do, uh, we got, I'm making a pasta with Alfredo sauce and spring veggies, and then we're doing, like, a vegan chicken scallopini oh, awesome. and a salad. So, uh, we got everything going pretty much. I, I put Peter, Peter Nussbaum over here from Tamerlane Animal uh, Sanctuary. Put yeah. him, oh, that's, I put his yeah. ass to work. But you can chill out, watch what I'm doing. We can shoot the shit. Yeah, and I got to give a big shout out to... Um, Alter Ego running. I'm going to put up the website. They made these hats, and the proceeds, uh, part of the proceeds of these hats, when you buy them off their website, it goes to the charity that I'm doing, which is a vegan food charity at Tompkins Square Park. We're going to feed the homeless. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to get dinner going because it's 521, and we, we got some hungry mofos up here. For real. Uh, uh, we're holding uh, liquid aminos. And amino acids help, you know, with the digestion of food. This is um, also soy free. And a lot of people are sensitive to soy. A lot of people eat way too much soy. So this is a fantastic, fantastic alternative to soy sauce. This one right here. So we got the pasta going. Organic. Linguini. Right? We made the Alfredo sauce using... No dairy, motherfuckers. Dairy is scary, remember that. We used um, nutritional yeast, soaked cashews, uh, almond milk, organic almond milk, um, some spices, asafoetida, salt, pepper, uh, lemon juice, fresh rosemary, or dry rosemary rather, a little bit of liquid amino acids, and a little olive oil. So uh, we're gonna get the pastas cooking, and we're gonna get the scallopinis going in the meantime. And uh, cooking with gas, motherfuckers. I love Gardein. Yo, the vegan meat is blowing the fuck up. And uh, whatever it takes to stop eating animals, if you guys, you know, wanna eat plant-based meats, go for that shit. This is non-GMO. I use this, I use Beyond Meat. I don't give a fuck, that's how I transition. I got a cookbook coming out, I'm working on it now. Can't tell you the title, but it's gonna be slamming. And it's recipes that's gonna help people transition away from the meat, save the fucking planet. Stop killing animals, fix your fucking health. Damn, I think it's got enough salt. I said, That's fucked up. Pasta, fucking Alfredo with fresh spring vegetables. Every motherfucking thing that I'm making over here is organic. And then we have the chicken scallopini mm -hmm. to go on top. The pasta, Alfredo has fresh steamed vegetables folded in there. We got uh, cauliflower, broccoli, zucchini, yellow zucchini, and spinach. spinach. And then we're going to set on top of that our chicken scallopini. We got a fucking salad with a creamy almond dressing, and I got some dope organic uh, French bread, Miyoko's butter. Miyoko, what's up? Hit me up. Send me some stuff. I'll put it on the show. <laughs> I need the lid for this pot. You see how everybody chips in and works together? Many hands make life. We can either work together fucking this planet up or saving the planet. The choice is yours. Positive oh, mental attitude, always. You know something? Yeah. Where the fuck is my book? Hold on, where's my bag? Where's my backpack? Look at this. I want to tell you guys something. Where's the camera? Quentin Tarantino. Spielberg. Uh, this is going into its third pressing now. Uh, the book's doing amazing. You could go on uh, John Joseph. Uh, dot merchnow.com get the book I donate the proceeds of this 
And there's even a link in here to get all of these yep. philosophy books for free. Keep a positive mental attitude. Every, this is really catching on. There's free meditation exercises. Teaches you so many life lessons. So pick up the book, man. What do you got to lose? If you don't improve by what's in this fucking book, I will fucking buy it back from you. Not you scammer motherfuckers, the real people. I know you guys out trying to get free shit, freegans out there picking in the fucking garbage dumpsters. Fuck that. The real motherfuckers. That's why I'm so sure of this book. The PMA Effect and Rich Roll wrote the forward. Look at that. Boom. I'm not as stupid as I look. How long have you been uh, a vegan? Me? Uh, I've been a vegan ooh, pushing 30 years, if not more. Like I became a vegan in my... Uh, mid to early teens, and the band Crass got me into veganism. Nice. So that's it. Crass, I got the, got the logo right here, if you're unfamiliar. Have you been to the Crass house? I have never been to the Crass house. Yeah. Where's that, in England? In England, yeah. No. I've been a vegan. Never, because I ain't a vegan. I don't call myself yeah. that, <laughs> for obvious reasons. But I eat a plant-based diet. But I do all of the tenets of the vegan lifestyle. I do. I don't wear leather. I don't use any animal products. It's just, you know, like the motherfuckers that attack people. It's a lot of people. I just, you know what? I don't want to have no big V on my chest, but that's cool. This is my man. He could do well, whatever. I have a, I have Sergio's a, a bad motherfucker. A Sergio behind. could do whatever he wants. And I do. These are chicken scallopinis, all plant-based, non-GMO. You will bug the fuck out on this. How's that looking over there? Good. All right, these are almost done. Give me this fucking bowl back over here. Broccoli, zucchini, and cauliflower organic. That's what we're putting in the Alfredo. Good shit. Is to meet the call of the day. Yes, I will live my life today better than yesterday. So it is priceless and evident. Look it is that. the humbleness of your heart that will make That's you blessed. Fold it, fold it, fold it. Let me help you out. And you see again, like that other dish we did. We let, we let the steam cook the spinach. You don't need to overcook the spinach. See that? All right, see if you can keep, uh, you know, giving that a good stir. Get the veggies and the sauce everywhere. I'm going to fold the fuck out of it. And this was a no cursing episode. Last episode was no cursing. <laughs> I'm making up for it this time. I'm cursing a lot. That's what the fuck time it is. We're gonna get all of these going. We're done. Bread's in the oven. Beautiful. Bread's in the oven? That's a question. That's not a statement. <laughs> I got a little bit of a baguette here, cut three quarters of the way through. I'm gonna put it in the oven. Give it on. Oh, it's on. Both, uh, both time, same time. Are you excited? For this meal? Yes. Ridiculously so. Very excited. Some of the best plant-based butter out there that's going on our French bread, Italian bread. We got, uh, let's give that a nice little, can you give that uh, the almond dressing? Hey, this is our almond dressing. We got nutritional yeast, almonds, lick brad, liquid aminos. I'm going to give you the recipe for all of this, so as usual, you don't have to worry. That's what we do with the hard truth. Look at that. Look at that. You got pounds of vegetables, 
You got salad, we got protein coming. Oh, motherfucker. How long does it take to cook this meal? You see, about, uh, you know, you prep everything. When you got people all working together, it's about an hour. And the thing about people that they always tell me, oh, it takes too much. Listen, in my new cookbook, I'm having recipes on how to do it on the cheap, how to make everything yourself, right? And the thing is, it's how do you want to allocate your time. We spent an hour making this beautiful meal, right? You know how much time people spend in hospitals? As a matter of fact, the guy next to me, when I was having my hernia surgery and I was getting put on the, the room next to me, he was going in to have stents put in his fucking heart. And Dr. Vega, thank you, my anesthesiologist was plant-based. And he tells all of his patients, you don't need these stents. You don't need these open-heart surgeries. Switch your fucking diet to plant-based. So... Where do you want to allocate your time? It's, it's the quality of life and the quantity of life. That's what it all comes down to. Because you're either going to spend an hour making a delicious plant-based meal that you could sit down, and I don't even want to tell you, this shit cost me, I spent 55 bucks for all of this food, and it's all organic. And you know what? We're going to sit down, we're going to break bread, we're going to have an amazing meal, and, you know, it's, that's what it's all about because... You're either going to spend fucking time in the fucking pharmacy lines, getting the procedures, going to the doctors. That's countless hours and money and money. So it's all about prevention. Where the fuck do you want to allocate your time and money? Invest in your fucking health. Don't be a mama Luke. Don't do it. All right, so this is what we have. You're going to get the recipe for all this. We have a vegan... Alfredo with spring vegetables. Um, we have salad with creamy almond dressing. We have the chicken scallopini. We have the bread. We're going to break bread. We're going to sit the fuck down. Grab a plate, you motherfuckers. Come on. Look at this. Get a close in on this. Look at this. And this is high protein pasta. You got all these veggies in here. We got to make a couple of doggy, uh, doggy plates. Oh, yeah. Get some salad in there. We need some thongs for the salad. Get some bread. I'm making this for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we do. My hands are clean. So Don't worry about that. Let me give you some almond dressing. Creamy almond dressing. This is from Don Foos. He has a book called Raw Life. You need to get that book. This, this recipe is in there. I, I stole this from him. Just so you know. All right, so there you go. Get some napkins, get some First, bread, help mm -hmm. yourself. There's the butter. And I'm done. That's it. Woo! It's a wrap. Up. Peace out. Latest episode of The Hard Truth is coming. Nice. <laughs> How's the food? Uh, the food is incredible. It's incredible. Pasta is cooked to perfection. The Alfredo sauce is amazing. Can't wait to try this at home. I get, I'm gonna give everybody the recipe. This is this is the fuel. And by the way, if you didn't see, uh, they film me. Vice film me. If you if you go on Vice or uh, on your Google search and put in uh, Vice Vegan Iron Man, they followed me for about seven months training and. Shot me at This Is Hardcore, which we're playing again um, in July 28th. And they shot me at the Boulder Iron Man, so check that out. And you'll see what I do, the fuel I eat, what's, what keeps me going. Last year, I did two, I did a half Iron Man, which was featured in Iron Mind, that's another documentary, and then I did the Florida Iron Man with three hernias. So the fuel, uh, you know, the book, The PMA Effect, was fuel for the mind, and the plant-based food was fuel for the body. So there's no need, uh, you know, I'm turning 57 in a little bit. This is what I've been doing for 38 years. So, you know, there's no uh, hospital wings with a bunch of sick plant-based people that are 
getting uh, nutrient deficiencies. That's all a fucking farce. You you could get every single nutrient in a plant-based diet. Stay tuned for the cookbook because it's coming. Hard Truth with John Joseph, Sergio Vega, Peter Nussbaum uh, from uh, Tamerlane. And go on the website, check them out. And uh, that's about it, man. Keep 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 positive. Keep that PMA. And pow, pow. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff, raise fist propaganda. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. You feel live your life and love your life for that we say. Caught down in a Babylon, we not take no prisoners, no day. Fortunate you, Tanel, but Rob, you tell them, say. Rotation!